Good day, ladies and gentlemen, to the mining news on Commodity TV. Caledonia Mining announced further encouraging results from the deep drilling program at the Blanket Mine. The continuity of the mineralized zones on the Blanket and Eroica ore bodies is currently being assessed with a view to delineating a larger overall resource. These results follow drill results from the Eroica ore body released on 10th July 2023. A total of 7,652 meters of drilling from June 2023 to the end of December 2023 indicate that the existing blanket and Eroica ore bodies have grades and widths that are generally better than expected. Total drilling for 2023 was 13,280 meters. For example, 4.95 grams gold per ton over 5.8 meters, 5.92 grams gold per ton over 13 meters, and 8.8 grams gold per ton over 4.3 meters through widths were intersected at depths. These are very good results, which indicate that Blanket will continue to produce at probably increasing grades for many years to come. These results, along with the results of further plant exploration, will be reflected in a revised mineral resource and reserve statement that the company expects to release in the second quarter of 2024, along with a revised mine life plan. It is anticipated that a portion of the existing inferred resources will be upgraded to measured or indicated resources and new inferred resources will be added. This should lead to an extension of the existing mine life. The annual production rate should be maintained. Don't forget, Caledonia pays a quarterly dividend of 14 US cents. Whistler Silver is on track for production. Simon Srimlek will join Whistler Silver as Chief Operating Officer. Mr. Srimlek is a highly experienced senior engineer with over 30 years of industry experience who has been a director of Whistler Silver since its inception and most recently held the position of Chief Operating Officer of Oseco, a global mining engineering and consulting firm. He has extensive experience in building mining projects around the world and across a range of different commodities and will be tasked with with advancing Vistla Silver's world-class Panuco Silver Gold project towards production, with the goal of becoming one of the world's largest single-project silver producers. Mr. Srimlek takes office on 1st April 2024. This puts Vistla Silver fully on track for production and sets the course for the future. The chart has completed an upward reversal formation and the first price target is 3 Canadian dollars 25. In the longer, longer term, we see 5 Canadian dollars as feasible. Not much heard from Hen and Metals for a long time. However, the company has not been idle and announced the completion and submission of its Declaration de Impacto Ambiental, DIA, or Environmental Impact Statement for its Valiente Copper Gold Porphyry project in Peru. The DIA is the main environmental certification required to allow the implementation of low impact mineral exploration programs, including drill programs in Peru. The area for the DIA allows for 40 drill pads and covers an area approximately 12 km long and 3 km wide at Valiente and includes the Ricardo Herrera, Vista Alegre and Sortilecho properties. Helen has discovered a new metallogenic province in Peru at the Valiente project where Helen is targeting Miocene porphyry copper gold deposits in a back arc area of central eastern Peru. The DIA area represents only a small portion, only 4% of Hennen's total land holdings at Valiente. Hennen Metals is consistently moving forward and we see the company very positive. You can also find all the information on our Commodity TV app in German and English as well as everything to do with commodities. We look forward to your like and more importantly, please subscribe to our TV channel. Please note the disclaimer shown. The shares discussed are or will be part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate and I'm a shareholder in the companies. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Switzerland.